The Panama City Beach City Council and residents getting an update to the city's lifeguard program. Fire Chief Larry Couch addressing the room during the council meeting today. News 13's Kayla Tucker was there. She tells us how far the program has come and where it's set to go. For the first year, the Panama City Beach Fire Department is in charge of beach safety. As the busy tourism season approaches, the program is gearing up to patrol the sands. We have nine and a half miles of beach and, and any day we'll have, you know, maybe eight people down there. Couch presented data from the 1970s to now. Someone who is there to see it all is Councilman Paul Casto. My first job with Panama City Beach, I was a lifeguard and we have come a long ways. Uh, we didn't have any uh, uh, flag warning systems or any uh, jet skis or any of the rescue devices that they have today. Castro says many things have changed since then, but something that stayed consistent is dangerous rip currents and drownings. I just ask that they pay attention to the flag warning system. That's a very good tool that we have. We've got to get out to you know the colleges, the schools, all the media outlets. You know we're hiring lifeguards. You know we are limited on our, our numbers this year because of budget restraints. But moving forward, that's always going to be a challenge. Chief Couch says they currently have eight seasonal positions open. We need more people out there on the beach, you know, in, instructing these folks to get out of the water when there's red flags and educate them. Why? In Panama City Beach, Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.